another Ron Johnson video vlogs. First time to me, my name is Ron Johnson. What I do is I help high performers that are facing burnout. So if you're a high performer and you want to create a better life for yourself as far as fulfillment, happiness, and create the life you dream of, this way I can help you. So today's installment, or I would say topic, is going to be about common relationships. And this is the thing I want us to talk about and discuss. Now, we have a modern view of karma. Karma is, well, you did me wrong, so you should pay for it, right? So let's say, for example, I'll give you an example of mine. When I was 22, I had a great relationship with somebody, but I was a liar, I was a cheater. I met somebody else, and that person did me dirty. And I met somebody else, I did them dirty. Then, you know, back and forth as far as what we're doing wrong to somebody else in relationships. So the thing being is that we need to understand it's not about karma in relationship. Karma really boils down to a set of patterns or a set of way of doing something that leads up to something. Let's say, for example, if you have bad credit, it was a simple fact that one day you got bad credit. It was the bad financial decisions of overspending. It was a bad decision not paying bills on time. It could have been the economy. It could have been you lost your job. A lot of things happen. You can't say karma. Like most people want to think karma is because I did something dirty or wrong, in my case, that it comes back on me. But in reality, it's the fact of what we've done. I'll give you an example. My four examples I give you, good, bad, good, bad, right? First example is good relationship is that I was able, well, the person was good to me, but I was bad to them. So when I met someone after that, I became, let's say, got in a bad relationship with a bad person. But reality is, is that Regards to the first relationship was good, second relationship was bad, the third relationship was good, the fourth one was bad. What's the idea is I didn't change my behaviors. See, the reality is the reason why I thought I got karma in relationship was that I kept the same behavior patterns, meaning that I was always looking for someone that was perfect. I was always looking for a set of cues that made me feel good, be it the way they dress, uh, the sex, or the confidence, the esteem, whatever it may be, I was looking for a set of, of cues. So when those were in there, I was in a relationship with somebody, but looking for better. It means I was in a relationship with somebody, should have been faithful, should have been platonic, because that's what we talked about, but yet I was constantly seeking something that was better. So then, no wonder they found out, or uh, I got tired of them because now I found someone better that I want to go with that person. Hopefully, the, if they had the set of features looking for, it provide me a sense of well-being, happiness, pleasure, whatever it may be. But then I failed. Oh, that was a that was a bad relationship. They did me dirty. They did me wrong. They lied to me. What reality was is that I didn't dig deep into myself of looking at my table. I looked myself in the mirror and saying, "Okay, Ron, what are you doing?" that creates this outcome, that creates these circumstances. Okay, and what is that? And I figured out what it was. What it was is simply, I was seeking perfection. You see my shirt, perfectly and perfect, so I hope you like my new shirt. And I was constantly looking for, or finding the flaw in that person. So no one's inherently perfect, but when I found that flaw in that person, then I said, okay, well, they have this flaw, I don't like it, let me go find someone better. That was a behavior pattern. So karma does not really exist in the sense that I did you wrong so I should pay for it. Karma exists in the sense that we've done a set of things that led up to where we are today. And once we figure out what those set of things are, good, bad, right, or wrong, is then we can figure out, okay, what about those set of things or circumstances that I have done in my life? Remember, you are the cause, not the effect of life. It means you cause what has happened. Figure out what the circumstances are and start taking them out and replacing with something new. If the idea I had when I was younger was I was bad relationships because everything I thought was a failure is because my idea is I'm bad relationships. Well, my idea should have been, Ron, you have to improve yourself, right, after myself in order to receive something better. That was the key. So look at yourself in the mirror and figure out what are you doing to cause these common relationships or bad relationships, whatever it may be for you. And realize you're perfectly imperfect and you're perfect the way you are. So if you learn more about me, go to www.ronjohnsoncoaching.com. But more importantly, hit that discovery, hit that subscribe button. Hit that button where the bell is so I can give you the ways and tools to live better in relationships, not just with other people, but with yourself first. And always, thanks for listening.